Another fascinating way to travel. Breakthrough Starshot, going at 150 times the speed of light in air. It's a plan to escape from Earth for Proxima B at 134,123,326 mile an hour. We know the speed of sound is about, uh, speed of sound in air is about 760 some odd miles per hour. Now, this breakthrough star shot goal is to propel the next generation of astronauts, explorers, to other solar systems. And to do that, they will be using solar sails and theoretically will be capable of unimaginable speeds. Now, one thing that comes to my mind is this. We don't even have an infrared telescope up yet. I mean, the things that they've been seeing in space are basically stars and solar systems. But they don't know what dark bodies lurk there until they have an infrared telescope to see what is in there. I mean, you could be bombarding uh, or propelling yourself towards things that are not showing up in our universe and are there anyway. So that's a little bit dangerous in my mind, but uh, this is a new type of technology for space travel. They say mankind, as we know, is uh, not, uh, will not quell his curiosity and his sense of adventure and exploration and travel. Since our ancestors left Africa, taking also to the skies, now venturing into space, even cutting-edge current rocket propulsion technology, it seems, would make tens uh, or hundreds of millennia to reach our neighboring star system, Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri is a star containing, uh, is a system containing Proxima Centauri or Proxima C. Proxima C is 4.25 light years away and it's uh, orbiting Proxima B a planet similar in size to our Earth and far away enough from the star to have conditions to uh, allow life to flourish. Dr. Mario Damaso of Italy's Observatory of Turin feels that both Proxima B and Proxima C are the most realistic hopes of colonizing new worlds outside of our solar system. He says it's only a candidate. This is very important to underline. And we have here the uh, NASA images of Alpha Centauri as well. Now, Breakthrough Starshot. The Starshot is a groundbreaking project. It's founded by the late legendary physicist Professor Stephen Hawking and billionaires Yuri Milner and Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg. The Breakthrough Starshot could have a small spaceship powered by ground-based lasers reaching 20% of the speed of light. That's 134,123,326 miles an hour, 150 times the speed of uh, sound, 20% of light, meaning the incomprehensible distance could be re reached in about only 40 years. Technology has been proven to work, they said, and both NASA, Japanese space agency JAXA, have flown light sail missions. And the privately funded Planetary Society is right now operating a light sail in orbit around our Earth. Professor Grover Schwarzlander of Rochester Institute of Technology told phys.org, the technology is advancing. Laser-based propulsion can achieve fast, far greater acceleration than solar-based propulsion. Solar base is, uh, I guess, what we have now. All right, so they have the... Uh, uh, laser-based propulsion coming in. Now he says one concern is that the sail can drift out of alignment with the sailor, the laser beam. Prof uh, Professor Schwarzlander's team discovered a way to maintain alignment using diffraction gratings. So instead of reflecting the laser light, their sail transmits the light at an angle. Uh, you know, all this is very fascinating, very technical, as you can understand. The deflected light exerts both a forward force to propel the sail and a sideways force to keep it aligned. But carrying a larger, heavier human crew is a far more difficult problem. 
because it would take thousands of years to complete the 40 trillion mile journey, scientists have now established the concept of a generation ship where people are born, reproduce, and also die on the ship. Andreas Hein, executive director of the nonprofit initiative for interstellar studies, told One Zero, quote, we know people can live in isolated areas like islands for hundreds or thousands of years. We know that in principle, people can live in an artificial ecosystem. The question of scaling things up, there's a lot of challenges, but no fundamental principle of physics is violated. Okay, you, have, you can understand now, all these things having to do with generations on a spaceship means that you have to have proper water, water purification, proper air and air purification, proper temperature, even sunlight for vitamin D. Uh, there's a lot of things that have to be worked out before you can uh, send out humans and uh, expect them to have generations of generations while you get to another uh, star system hoping that you'll find a livable planet. This is by Tom Fish on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.